All right, before we get the short interview started, I do want to remind everyone to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check us out on all podcasting platforms. Jeremy, man, how often are you in Oklahoma City? I'm I'm here more often than than you would think because my family actually lives that's, here in Oklahoma. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Sooner baby. I'm I'm you know I grew up uh, in different parts of Oklahoma. Lived on a cattle ranch in Winnet, Oklahoma, for many years. And, um, grew up in the Panhandle. Uh, my family's all from here. They all live in the Tuttle area. Okay. Um, and uh, so I've I've I spent a lot of time in Oklahoma. It's so a what, blessing to get to come back. So when you first became an actor, were you already living in Los Angeles? Is that how that happened, or were you living? No, no, I was actually living in Dallas, Texas. When we lost our cattle ranch, we moved to Dallas uh, right before the eighth grade, and so I finished school and. De, DeSoto, Texas, which is suburb of Dallas, um, but uh, but I've sort of always been an Okie at heart. You know? Okay, and people, I guess people confuse you and your brother quite often, right? Well, we're twins. It yeah. happens. <laughs> so when you go, when you go from like these conventions, do you ever act like you're him, or does he act like he's you? No, I don't <laughs> think that we've ever. It never crosses our mind to do that. It's one of those strange things that everybody kind of thinks that that's something that they would do if they were a twin. Cause I've had so many people through the years being like, man, if I was a twin, <laughs> why would switch classes? And I'm like, no, you wouldn't. <laughs> you say that because you you're not a twin. That, but you're when you're twin. in it, it just it doesn't, it's not that important. It doesn't cross <laughs> your mind to do those things because there are repercussions for those things. And my brother and I uh, had a, you know, a little bit more common sense than that. <laughs> we didn't really feel like getting uh, kicked out of school for everybody else's entertainment. Is mall rats so mall rats is is that like the main thing you go to conventions for? Yeah, I mean I've been you know I've been doing this for thirty two years and I've got you know that I've long done, I've done a lot of movies and been on a lot of television shows and stuff like that. But mall rats is the sort of the pop culture uh, f thing that gets me mm -hmm. more traction at these things because that's what people are interested in. People love the View Askew world, the Kevin Smith stuff. Uh, but mall rats genuinely did become a pop. Uh, yeah, the culture sort of phenomenon about 10 to 15 years after we made it. So, so there was a mall rats too. Okay. So there, I look, there was, <laughs> I don't think there's going to be, there was. There, well, cause when I looked it up, I was like, Oh, there is. Cause I wasn't sure. And there was, and then I looked at, yeah. I looked at, and I looked at the picture of you. It's the same picture from all rats one that they put on like the IMBD or whatever. Oh man. No, they have a picture of me. My IMDB photo is literally from when I was like 23. And that just gets old. used. And they I mean, won't change it. I've tried to change it for years, and they won't change it. They always put that one back up, and it it drives me nuts. I'm 50 years old. <laughs> I'm literally turning 50 years old this year in November. So I, it's so silly. But uh, you know, I had a guy come up to me yesterday. He's like, "Wow, you're aging." I'm like, "Yeah, I'm 50. I'm 50. I would hope so." How cre creepy would that be if you didn't? Yeah. Do people? The one last question I want to ask you is: Do people mistake you? for other actors like oh, when yeah. you're walking down the street in los angeles well it's or... happened i mean you know it depends on where i am if i'm in new orleans and especially this one leather jacket that i wear um uh whenever i'm sporting like this look this this goatee look that i've got going on right now um uh i get stopped a lot thinking that i'm tony stark <laughs> I, everybody thinks though especially all the brothers though they all think i'm iron man it's hilarious i love it um but get brandon uh, frazier johnny brandon depp Fra yeah I've, I've had an old couple in Home Depot get very excited because they thought I was uh, Brendan Fraser. <laughs> I've definitely never gotten. Johnny they're taking Depp, pictures with you, Brendan Fraser. <laughs> yeah, they, they got so excited, and then they and I was like, "Yeah, that's not me." And then the fun, the funny part was, I almost wanted to be like, I was almost more annoyed at the movie that they re <laughs> thought they recognized me from because they were like, "We loved you in George of the Jungle." <laughs> like that's the one. Like, that's the one. Is there really? a if you had to pick a favorite scene from any movie or TV show that you've ever been in? Do you have one that stands out like as just maybe more yourself in character or something that just really draws you close to that particular role? Yeah, well, th there were a couple of scenes in Gods and Generals, a uh, Civil War movie I did with Robert Duvall and Stephen Lang and a really amazing cast. Um, uh, there were a couple of scenes in that movie that were extraordinarily poignant. I mean, when you're sitting on a horse wearing Civil War costume and you're barreling down through the middle of soldiers with your sword out and you're pretending to shoot and that you're in it, you know? Yeah. It's, you can't forget that kind of stuff. That's cool, you know? man. Uh, that's that, those, those are the moments I think that sort of have made me stop and 
I really understand how what a blessed life that I've had and like get, being able to be in some really really cool situations. You know? But then being just sitting opposite of Stephen Lang and 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 going toe to toe with him in this really beautifully written scenes and mm-hmm. and 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 just doing some good acting together, you know, uh, is you know stuff I'll never forget. For real, the last question for all this time is. <laughs> Any upcoming movies that you'd like to talk about? Well, I, I can't say too much about it because we, we kind of have to keep a little bit tight, tight lipped, but I do have some, some really good things on the horizon. But Mall I, Rats I did, 3? I wish. <laughs> well, Mall Rats 2. Let's do Mall Rats 2 first. Okay. Um, but uh, I don't think that's happening. Wasn't we'll, it we'll Mall see. Rats 2 didn't come out? No, we never made it. I mean, I've I been, thought, you know, I, he's, he's been talking about it for eight years. It's not necessarily his fault. Kevin wants to do it. He, he doesn't really own the rights. So the internet lied to me? Well, yeah, the internet. Yeah, well, can you imagine? <laughs> I guess so, On the yeah. internet wasn't, wasn't accurate? I can't, <laughs> I can't imagine. Um, yeah, no, it's not, for not a li- it's not for lack of trying. He wants mm. to make it. It's just, you know, he has to get the rights to his own movie from Universal, who owns right, it. Right, right. And so there's a whole, you know, to do there before we can even get it made. But I, maybe before uh, we're all 90 years old, maybe we'll make... <laughs> make it nobody's gonna know what the hell the movie is <laughs> like, what? <laughs> what what's you mean that number? movie they made like in the last century <laughs> um you right know. on man that I guess that's it dude right on man <laughs> anything else you want to say no good to be here man i appreciate yeah, you having me thank you so much for Thanks stopping much. by uh hey well, yeah you know what you guys can check out uh, our uh my my fiance and i started a, a garden business uh, in uh uh, in when COVID hit, and we have started making pepper jelly and all these breads and all this great online. Stuff. And you can find us on Etsy at London's Most Wanted, and you can get the best pepper jelly you've ever had. Nice, dude. Like, yeah, it's killer. My wife loves that stuff. I make it. I, it's all my recipe. I make it, jar it, label it, sign it, ship it out. It's all my my lady and I do it all uh, from from our house, and we've sold thousands and thousands of jars of this. Stuff. That's people awesome. Love it. What's, London's, what's that London, one more time? London's most wanted on Etsy. There you go. All right. This is the loud spot outro by nothing short of tragic. Is this all talk with no action? No. Is this my thoughts with distraction? No. Is this what I bought that's in fashion? Or is this the loud spot with Sebastian? Yes. Does nothing short of tragic have his back again? Yes. Does anything that's good really have to end? Yes. A pin post has to pin show so to get more episodes make an order this is over